An average aircraft hangar can house millions of dollars of equipment at any given time. So how do you guarantee the safety of those investments in the event of a fire? All hangars are equipped with a fire suppression system which needs to be tested biannually to ensure proper function when and if it's ever needed. What we're going to be doing is we're going to have the uh, high expansion foam falling from the, uh, from the aspirators. We're going to be using approximately 200 gallons of the foam, but it's a necessary evil. We have to perform this test. We want to make sure that the facility is protected, the people inside the facility, and the equipment that's going to be stored in this facility. A turn of a key and flip of a switch starts the system running. Within minutes, 200 gallons of water and aqueous film-forming foam flood the empty hangar. Surely such a large-scale test requires planning of more than just one unit. Oh, there's several agencies involved with the flow. There's, first of all, our shop, uh, Water and Fuel Systems Maintenance. There's the electrical shop. They're going to be performing the uh, inspection on the panels and the alarms, all the uh, audible alarms. And then we also have the fire department that's going to be uh, signing off, saying that the flow went successful. The proper expansion and coverage of the foam demonstrates equipment and personnel in this hangar are well protected from a breakout of fire. From Mountain Home Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class, Jay Leegate.